The new general in charge of the Russian invasion has admitted that the situation for his troops remains tense. In Kherson, the uh, Russian uh, forces have started moving civilians as Ukrainian troops on the counter-offensive are closing in. And in the east, Ukrainian troops have also recaptured thousands of miles of territory. Our defence correspondent Jonathan Beale and cameraman Lee Durant have been with the Ukrainian forces on the front line as they advance east of the city of Liman. A warning, there are some distressing images in the report. The road of retreat, a dead end for some, where these Russian forces met their own Armageddon. The carcasses of armor and bloated dead bodies scatter the ground of the recently liberated East. A village, the new front line for these Ukrainian troops. Still within range of Russian artillery, the signature sound of this war. Russian positions are just 500 meters away. You can see they're getting. Telling us to get down here. Come on, let's go. But this war also involves close quarters combat, as we're about to find out. A grenade's fired into the tree line from where the Russians were firing as we make a speedy exit. Let's get out. Let's get out. Okay. We're getting out of here. Some small arms fire, probably from a, a Russian scouting party, so they've been telling us to get out of here back to the main headquarters. Russian forces have been trying to outflank them. Many of these troops only volunteered at the start of the war. Months of fighting has transformed them into a professional army. But these counterattacks are slowing their advance. Vladimir, their captain, tells me they need more armor and they're waiting for reinforcements. The push east is testing supply lines. With most bridges blown, Ukraine's had to rely on amphibious craft and boats to keep feeding the front line. They've only just completed the construction of this new crossing. And there are other obstacles too, countless Russian minefields that need to be cleared. Ukraine is still advancing, but it's getting harder. Jonathan Beale, BBC News, Donbass.